Let's start by reviewing n behavior of polynomial functions. When we say a, a polynomial function is even, we're saying that the exponent, the highest exponent on a variable, for instance, x to the fourth, would represent an even, an even degree. The number directly in front then will determine if it's positive or negative. So even positive means the highest value on a variable is an even number. And when the number in front of that variable is positive, we say that both on the left and on the right, it goes up. Now, if it's even and this number is negative, like a negative two, then both the left and the right go down. If it's odd, it means the value, or also known as the degree, the value, the highest value on a variable is an odd number, like three, five, seven, and so on. And when the number in front is positive, it's up on the right and down on the left. When this number is negative, it's just the opposite. It's vice versa. It's down on the right and up on the left. And we're going to use that as we do one through four. Now on one through four, there is no calculator available. We need to do this all. So let's start by looking at number one. So I'm going to try these from graphing polynomials and we're doing this without a graphing calculator. Okay, I'm looking at the first two. I'm asking, hey, I think I can actually factor by grouping here. I can factor out a negative two and I would be left with negative two x squared. I'd be left with one x <coughs> plus four. 1x plus 4, and what would be the quantity that provides me these last two terms? It'd be a positive 2. 2x and plus 8. And I recognize this is not fully factored, but we'll get the same answer in the very end. <coughs> they both contain a 1x plus 4. In front of the first is a negative 2x squared. In front of the back is a positive 2. Now I'm going to set f of x equal to zero because ultimately what I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to solve this to find the x-intercepts. Whenever we let y equal zero and we're solving for x, we're finding the x-intercepts. So I'm going to take each one of these quantities and set it equal to zero. 1x plus 4 set equal to zero and negative 2x squared plus 2 equal to zero. Subtract 4 to the opposite side and make sure to show all of your work divided by 1 and one x-intercept is negative four. Notice that looks like I'm probably gonna have three. Subtract two to the other side, divide by negative two. Here's a common mistake. This tells me I'm gonna have two answers. So x equals two answers, positive and negative one. So what do I do with those? So I need to find right now positive and negative one and negative four. Okay. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, positive and negative one and negative four. I can see that my y-intercept is at eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So somewhere right in here. Now here's the kicker. I have right now a function that is odd. So this is an odd degree function. And the number in front called the leading coefficient is negative. So it's a negative leading coefficient. I should have been NEG, sorry, NEG. So I'm looking for odd negative. And I will not provide you with this. You do have to understand this. So odd negative is down on the right and up on the left. Down on the right and up on the left. Okay, so I'm going to come all the way up here. Grab this, come back. And it's looking something like this. That is problem number one, the try these from graphing polynomials.